Aloha, I'm Malia with Happily Home Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to create a full coverage look using clean beauty products and having a great moisturizer that pairs well with your makeup is also going to make your makeup look better. I have found Countermatch Adaptive Moisture Lotion to work best with these products. So the next thing um, on your moisturizing is to use a primer that's going to help your foundation stick better and last longer. So this is two pumps of Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter's Glow First Priming Serum. So I have found that using a foundation brush that has very dense packed bristles gives the most beautiful finish. This is um, a 101 foundation brush by BK Beauty. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it also helps me to save product because it doesn't absorb all the product into the brush. Now this is a more affordable set that I've got off of Amazon and I can share the link with you, but um, a brush that has, the, again, those densely packed bristles is going to give you a really beautiful finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and I like to start with just one pump first and then we can add on later. So for my favorite method is I will dot my foundation around and then pat it in before I begin any like brush strokes. Getting the product evenly distributed and I'm making sure it's getting actually pressed into the skin, into those pores rather than just being swiped over top. Okay, I'm gonna take one more pump here and Again, patting it around. Another really great tip for when you're applying your makeup is to do it in good lighting. And you're gonna be able to see, is my foundation matching my skin well? Did I get everything covered? Do I have a line here and here? So if you can get by a window with some natural sunlight, that would be best. Now that I've dotted it, I can go in and do little buff strokes and you know what, I'm gonna switch over to this brush so you guys can just kind of see. This brush works as well as, um, this brush works well too. It has a smaller surface area and is not as dense, but um, also I can see some lines when I'm doing it. So the tools that you use really do make a difference. I usually only use a beauty blender if I put a lot of product on my face more than usual so that it doesn't feel like it's sitting on there. I'm pushing it in and then also it may pick up any excess. So that's about two pumps of foundation. I do like to let it sit. I've said it over and over again, this foundation really melts into the skin and actually looks better over time. I don't want to layer on product unnecessarily, but for the sake of time with this video, I'll go ahead and show you the different ways that you can use um, your concealer. So this is my matching shade. This is tan one. This is one shade lighter, tan zero, and this is several shades darker, deep one. So I'm gonna take the lightest shade, tan zero, and if you have darkness under your eyes, you can put a little bit of concealer there. Let it sit for a minute before you blend it out. You'll take your matching shade for additional coverage. Let's see if I have any spots I wanna cover. Not really, I have some redness here. For additional coverage and then my darkest shade we're gonna use as bronzer today. And these concealers are super pigmented. You need to use very little product. Don't use too much or it's just gonna be streaky on your face. Very, very little product. I'm gonna do two tiny dots for my concealer on my cheeks and then across my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and sometimes I like to do a little bit on my nose. So let's go ahead and blend these out. Um, for concealer, you can use a variety of brushes or your beauty blender. I'll use both. I'll use this brush for this side and I'm using a very, very light touch. This is the under eye area, very gentle. I just want to feather this foundation out 
and not really disturb um, the, any product that might be underneath. So light feathering strokes, tapping strokes, and I'm brushing it upwards. So that's the lighter concealer on that eye. And then with the Beauty Blender, patting that, blending that out. So that is the under eye concealer. For spot treating, for extra coverage, I like to use a smaller brush because I just want to pat it over that area and not move it around too much. So patting, patting that concealer over top where you wanted that extra coverage. Or with your beauty blender. And then I like to take somewhat of an angled brush for when I'm doing my cheeks here. I'm gonna pat that, making sure I'm not bringing any further down. If any patting, I'm patting it upwards. And then if you wanna take that and go over it to kind of make it more seamless. Patting it up, patting it up. I like to take it into my hairline so there's no starting and stopping lines. That looks really pretty. Um, if you want to clean up underneath your line, uh, if you want to clean up under your bronzer line there, you can just take your foundation brush and kind of make sure that bronzer didn't come too low. And then I'm gonna blend out the rest of that. If you feel like you can see any starting and stopping lines, take that blender. I love that you can use so little product to get your entire face done. So these concealers are going to last you a good long time. I'd probably say six months to a year. Um, I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna squeeze it so it gets skinnier, run this up and down. Blend it out. So we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this coverage. It is a satin finish. This is where you can decide if you need more product at this point, if you wanna add more concealer for more coverage, if you think you need a little bit of foundation, you would spot, apply that. But to me, I don't see anything standing out that I'd want to cover. So this is the point where you can set it with your powder. Beauty Connor's Mattifying Powder is translucent. I take a little bit in the lid, and then depending on how I'm feeling, I can use a bigger powder brush or a smaller, I like to use a smaller one if I'm trying to get a more precise um, makeup look, i.e. not super lazy, fast, usual. Tapping off that excess, and then going over some of the spots that I normally get kind of sweaty. I like to take this line here, Take this line here. And a little bit under the eye to set. Really light touch again, really, really light. And I think that's it. So sorry, this is not a hair channel. This is for clean beauty, but this is a really beautiful, what I think of as full coverage makeup using all clean beauty products. I forgot to apply my blush before I powdered, so I'm not gonna use cream blush today. I am gonna use um, a powder blush by Beauty Counter. This is raspberry. I don't think it's available anymore, but we gotta finish the look because I am going shopping today. A little bit of color on the cheeks. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in a few minutes as I'm wearing this, this is going to look even more just like my skin, but filtered. I think it's really, really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.